Right, so yesterday I was fortunate enough uh, to whack a nice little fat kingy. Um, so I thought it was a good opportunity to do a bit of an instructional video on how I go about filleting them um, to get the best results and get the most out of the fish. So uh, if you want to bear with me for a few minutes, I'll take you through it um, and explain how and why I do things the way I do them. So it's important that you really look after your fish. So this guy, I was lucky enough to stone it, kill it straight away, get it on the boat, get it on ice, uh, and it's been on ice ever since. Um, so it's in really good nick and it's going to eat really well. So it's really, really important that you look after your catch. Um, now you can either cut in behind the head here and remove the whole fillet. Um, or the way I like to do it is I cut in behind the flaps across this line here um, and I'll take the flaps off later on for smoking um, and then I've got a nice easy fillet to deal with. So my first cut I make through here. So you just run your knife along behind the pectoral fins here, cutting in and all the way down to expose the gut cavity. And then cut, cut hard down onto the bone here. You run your knife along top of the bones, opening it up. Don't want to bother trying to go too deep to start with because you're going to make multiple cuts anyway. All the way down to the tail. I usually just poke my knife through the skin on there. Just fill the tail part off. Bring it up off the backbone. As I go. Punch through that bone there. Next one. Next one. Opening up your fillet. From there you've exposed the rib cage. One nice big fillet removed. And then you just move over and do the same, repeat this process on the other side. I just thought I'd, he had a big fat guts on him, so I thought I'd investigate, and uh, it turns out the greedy bugger, uh, either yes, the day before yesterday, had eaten a snapper, and it looks like it was probably a legal snapper when it was alive, um, and then uh, it looks like yesterday, uh, he was still hungry, so he ate a big fat mullet, um, which is why he had such a fat stomach on him. The flaps. Probably the tastiest part of the whole fish, so I'm going to cut in hard behind the head here. There's quite still quite a bit of meat there. I'm going to cut down on an angle here, in behind the head, and make sure that we don't miss any of it. And then just make sure that I cut right through now. Obviously, you want to be really careful at this stage because you're working with a sharp knife and you're putting a fair bit of force behind it, so you don't want to cut yourself accidentally. So I just follow the flap down around the gill and you can just peel it off. One 
flat removed. There's going to be beauty in the smoker. Right, so we've got our two nice fillets of kingfish. Um, so now I'm going to process it for you so you can see how I process it to get the best out of it uh, and what I use those different cuts for. Um, so yeah, I'll take you through it. So we this one I left a couple of the rib bones on, so I'm just going to quickly whip those off. That's those to one side. Thin bones on. Right, those are gone. So the rest of this, aside from the pin bones down the middle, is boneless. Uh, and those pin bones are there, they're alright, they're actually quite handy. Um, so what we're going to do, I smoke this section of the fish. So we just remove that, nice and easy. And that goes into the salty water, it flaps. Now I'm left with a roughly rectangular wedge with the pin bones in it. So I come down one side of the pin bones, down, down, down. Not quite to the skin, because there's a little bit of um, bloodline in the fish. And then I cut out along the skin I do the same thing. All the way along. Turn it around. And that gives me a beautiful loin of kingfish. And I'll just quickly trim up the red meat off that. This is like the Kingies Turbo Boost, this red stuff. That's why they can give you a good tow around. One really nice loin of kingfish. Now, if you're making um, sashimi out of it, you will want to slice it this way, nice and thin. Um, you can just stake it, but it does tend to dry out. So if you're gonna pan fry it, um, the best way to do it would be to cut it like this. Down. Then butterfly that fillet as evenly as you can open to make two roughly even fillets like that. That'll pan fry a heap better done that way um, than it will do cut into steaks. It won't dry out anywhere near as much. Uh, now we're going to do some sashimi, so I am going to leave that nice wedge there for us for dinner tonight. So now we've got the belly section. Now this is a really tasty part of the kingfish, and I really like this part um, for cooking with. It's a little bit higher in fats. 
same process, cut down those pin bones um, and then run your knife out and along. I tend to do this a little bit more like a traditional fillet now. This bit here, don't have to worry about it drying out so much because it's quite high in fats as I said. So um, I tend to just take it off on an angle like this and then cut all my, my fillets off like that for a pan fry. So there you go, that's all the um, various bits of kingfish. It's not quite all of the, uh, the filleted stuff. I've just had a friend come over and I gave them some. Um, but these are your different cuts done and dusted. So that's kingfish 101. And uh, we're going to try and do a different tutorial every week that we get out diving. So next week, uh, I think I'll do how best to deal with crayfish. See you next time.